Fish it. Fish it. Fish it. He's fishing it. Welcome back again to another one, Fish at Middle Tennessee. We are going to paint some jerk baits. Winter time around here, water's getting colder. Jerk bait fishing's gonna be hot, so we got some holographic ones. It's got hollow foil on the inside, so we'll try to keep those um, transparent. Keep that flash on there. And then we got these big bad boys right here. I'm gonna do all of those. So it's time to figure out what color I wanna do. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it simple on these since we're gonna to try to keep the sides of them uh, transparent. And I'm gonna do pearlized purple, pearlized purple plum. Realized plum and we're gonna do that on the tops and then down the side I'm gonna do like a line with the fluorescent yellow almost like a chartreuse and then we'll may do some red around the back of the gills there just for a little extra pop all right First things first, some pearlized purple right here on the top. top of there so I've hit all four of these with one coat on the top I'm gonna hit them with the hair dryer to heat set this and then I'm gonna do a second coat we don't want to spray it on too heavy I kind of did on this one and that's why there's a, a line right there so I'm going to go a little lighter and then do a second coat. I got kind of heavy on that one. All right, I got the fluorescent in here. Let's see how good my hand is. We're just gonna do a stripe starting from the gill plate right down the side here. I got really light. I don't know how pretty my hand is here. side a little bit and then we'll go back and do the other side and then we'll flip it over and hit it again I don't want to get too much on it at one time but kind of got a little bit of a stripe going on inside of there I went a little low on this side one 
All right, so I got my purple on. Still got that flash in there. Got the chartreuse stripe on the side. I think we're gonna keep this one simple. We'll put some eyes on it. I don't think I'm gonna put anything on the belly. Yep, I think that's gonna be it. Nice and simple. So the only eyes I have for these are black ones. So I'll put the black ones on there and then I'll, I don't really like the black because it's just straight black. So I'll put the eyes on there and then I'll do a little bit of silver touch up around them with just a really small brush. See if we can make it a little better. Hopefully I don't screw it up too bad, but we'll see. So let's get started with these. Here's the black, and we'll go back and like I said, I'll do some touch up with some silver on those, try to make it look a little better. Get these on here, these are actual silver ones. So I was getting ready to touch up the eyes on there and I thought, man, I forgot to put some red around the gill plates there. So I'm just gonna do it with a really small detail brush with some Wicked Colors Crimson, Wicked Crimson. Follow the bottom of that a little bit. Right there. I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to go around the top. Just around the bottom right there. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'll wash this off and I'll do the silver around the eyes. All right, let's see if we can do this without messing it up too bad.
that looks pretty good right there. I don't know how well y'all can see it, but I just went around the back a little bit and then down the bottom. Much better. Alright, I think we're done with these. Time for some clear coat. Well, there it is after some clear coat. You can see it a little better under the light there. Things really pop after clear. I like it because it's still translucent or transparent, whatever you want to call it. But you still got those colors in there. Still got the flash inside of it. Be a killer bait. Thanks for watching, guys. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>